Hi, it's Brian Katzen with KCSG Power Tools for Kartra, aka kpowertools.com. A lot of times I see people struggling to get their Google Analytics working with Kartra because Kartra's head tracking section where you would normally paste the code accepts only JavaScript and no HTML. And most of the scripts that are supplied by Google Site Tag and Google Tag Manager are actually HTML or more specifically their JavaScript wrapped in HTML, which is not valid to cut and paste into the head section. If your script says global site tag, uh, global site tag, Google Analytics as shown here, this is HTML, not JavaScript. It contains JavaScript, but it's wrapped in HTML. This is not really conducive to pasting into Kartra's head tracking section. It doesn't convert to pure JavaScript well. So what you need to have is Google Tag Manager, not Global Site Tag. It's a bit confusing because the script URLs include Google, Google Tag Manager .com even when it's the global site tag and not Google Tag Manager. So Google makes it a bit confusing. Bottom line, if it says global site tag, you're going to have problems. If it says Google Tag Manager, then it can be fairly easily adapted to being put in the Kartra head tracking section. So this video is a quick how-to, it's not super in-depth, but uh, try to keep it short as possible, how to take your uh, tracking ID information from Google Analytics and plug it into Google Tag Manager so that you can have it work properly in Kartra. So first head over to Google Analytics at analytics.google.com. If you have a legacy Google Analytics configuration, you can pop into the, the property area for the website you're using, click on the tracking info section, it'll expand open, click on tracking code, and then you can just copy, drag over and copy the tracking ID that's shown there in the red box. You'll need that for setting up the analytics on the Google Tag Manager side. If you have a newer Google Analytics version 4 system and you have a web stream, go to your website property, click on data streams, and it'll pull up the web stream details. You can just click on the, the copy icon next to the measurement ID and it'll copy that to the clipboard. Then you'll need to head over to Google Tag Manager proper, which is at tagmanager.google.com. If you don't already have an account, create an account for yourself. If you don't have a container for the website that you want to track, click on the triple dot menu and then choose create container and walk through the dialogues for that. I'm not gonna walk through all the details in this video, but create an account if you need it and the container for the website you want. Then you need to go into the workspace area. You can create custom triggers. For this setup we'll just use uh, any page view but you can go into the triggers tab and create new if you want to match specific events to a select set of pages and not all of your pages. Triggers is where you would set that up. Most of our work is going to be in the Tags tab. So to add the Google Analytics tag in the Tags area, click on the New button. That will open up a little side window like this one. In the upper left hand corner you can add a, a name for the tag. I'll just use GA for Google Analytics. And then there, are, as you can see, there are two sections we'll need to configure. We'll need to configure the tag itself and then the trigger that controls when that tag will be added on the page. 
there are a bunch of predefined types. Oh, going back for a second, the uh, that little edit pencil pops up when you hover over the upper right hand corner of each of those panels. So when you click on that first one for tag configuration, you get a list of potential tag types. There are a bunch of predefined ones. And then if you look down below, you can see you can also do your own custom code and have Google Tag Manager inc include that. So for Google Analytics, you can the traditional one, you can use the Google Analytics Universal Analytics for the version 4, use the GA4 configuration. If you choose the traditional Google Analytics Universal Analytics, you will need to uh, add in a variable in the Google Analytics settings to provide your analytics ID. To do that, click on that drop down. If you haven't already created a variable for your analytics ID, choose the new variable option, and that'll allow you, uh, you if you look on the, the far left hand side, you can create variables in the variables area. It's, it's below tags and triggers, but this uh, convenient drop down lets you define a variable on the fly right here. So that's what we're going to do as this is our first time through for this property. So this takes you into the variable configuration. We In the upper left hand corner, I'm just going to call this variable the tracking ID. I'm going to plug in a value here and the, the tracking ID that I plug into the, the Google Analytics settings here will be saved as a variable called tracking ID for future use. So just type in, well, paste the tracking ID that you loaded from analytics in there and click save to save that variable. In the advanced settings, you'll need to click the little down arrow for the advanced settings to open advanced settings. I strongly encourage you to set the tag firing options to once per page. I've had issues where it would fire multiple times per page and that that can cause some problems in uh, like the tag helper complaining that it's getting multiple events. So make sure you in the advanced settings you choose once per page. If you are using the Google Analytics version 4, the tag configuration looks very slightly different. You just paste your measurement ID into the box. Once again, you should go down to the advanced settings and choose tag firing only once per page. In the trigger setup, uh, I have multiple triggers defined. By default, there should be already be all pages just as a standard. So uh, unless you want your tags to only trigger under certain conditions for certain pages, by default, you should just choose all pages and it will be applied to all pages where Google Tag Manager has been installed. When you save out of all of those configuration panels, you'll be back to the workspace. The, the changes are queued up until you cl click on the submit button on the upper right. It'll walk you through a little dialog where it'll ask you to label this version of the, the workspace configuration. I usually just use the, the day's date and like a revision number in case I make multiple revisions in a single day. And then I describe in the, the dialog box what I've changed. And after you go through the submission process of submitting the changes to your workspace, you can go to the admin area. So I've switched tabs here. In the uh, container uh, control tools, uh, about a third of the way down, you'll see install Google Tag Manager. Click on that to expand that. And it'll show you the code to put in the head section and the code to put in the body section. So. Here's where 
we need to customize the head section code for Kartra. So as I mentioned at the start of the video, you cannot put any HTML into the Kartra head section uh, because there's Kartra is supplying a, a script tag for you and the script tag can only contain JavaScript. So we have to make a couple of changes to the code that Google Tag Manager is supplying because it's supplying HTML wrapped JavaScript. So you can go ahead and click on the, the copy icon to copy the code. But when you go to paste the code into the Kartra head section, you'll need to make a few changes there. You can either remove the comments where it says Google Tag Manager and end of Google Tag Manager. You can either just remove those completely and leave them out. Or you can change the characters at the beginning and end of the comments from the less than exclamation mark minus minus at the beginning to forward slash asterisk and the the minus minus or dash dash greater than at the end needs to be asterisk slash. So if you want to leave the comments, change the characters at the beginning and end as shown. Otherwise, you can just delete the comments. Take out the script tags because that's HTML saying the next stuff is JavaScript. But Kartra already supplies those. So if you include a script within a script, it breaks the script and that's why your code doesn't work. So these are the modifications that you need to apply for the head section, the, the code that Google supplies for the body section, you can paste into the body tracking section without modification.